Today we're talking shop. You want to know how to remove these and change this. This is your video, stay tuned. All right, welcome to my first tutorial for noobs. Um, this is a video I wanted to make as soon as I learned how to do it because when I went to YouTube to try to find instructions for this, they were nowhere to be found or there were parts that I didn't know how to do that, you know, the pedals would be on or the cranks would be on and then they would be off. So this is, again, this is a tutorial for beginners. I'm not skipping any parts. I'm not going to skip any steps. Um, there's going to be no teleporting of parts. So here's what we're doing today. We're doing, uh, I myself and switching to this chain ring here, it's a 30 tooth. And I'm going to use an eight millimeter Allen key. You're supposed to have a rubber mallet. So like I said, I'm a noob. I don't, I have three different, four different hammers. Um, but I'm going to hit the end of this rubber handle. I did it before. It works fine. And that will act as my rubber mallet. So first off, I'm going to a 30 tooth. So stock is 32 teeth. And right now I have an oval chain ring on, which is here. And it's pretty awesome. Like if you're doing moderate to easy climbs, it's efficient, it's comfortable. Um, I do a lot of tech climbing, whether or not I want to. And with this chain ring, when you go into those easy gears and you're going up and over rocks, there's a lot of start stop because of how it is shaped. So I'm going back to a round just for power. Um, all right, let's get to it. First thing, uh, you saw this uh, tool right here. You can get this on Amazon right here. It's got some uh, crazy shapes to it. It's made to go into here. Let's see here. Bam. See it locks right in. Nice and neat. Locks in nice and neat. Look at that. Seems like it's the right thing to do. Do not buy this tool. This tool is awful. I don't know why they sell it. So how these cranks come off is um, this is an extractor screw. So we're going to put the Allen key in here. It's going to unscrew. And this piece with the crazy shape around it is what actually pulls the pedal, uh, the crank off. So you never remove this. So in my opinion, they shouldn't even sell this. There's no use for this. If you have to take that piece off, your pedals are, your, your cranks are shot. So I almost forget to mention that for the XTR chain ring and XTR crank removal, this is how I have my bike rack holding my bike. Um, kind of stable. You just gotta tip it the right way. Okay, so first thing I need to do is remove the cranks. So I'm going to take this Allen key, which is an eight. Here we go. We're turning counterclockwise. You'll know you're going the right way. Not only does it get easy, but it gets where you can see the screw get closer to that extractor cap. That's where it is now. Now it's hard again. That's normal. So we're going to really crank it down. All right, we are off. So that's how the pedal comes off. This is where the rubber mallet's supposed to be used. I should get one. I don't have one, but this is what I'm gonna do. Handle, it's a rubber handle by the way. There we go. All right, so we're on the crank side now. I'm gonna take the chain off. And so I'm gonna loosen if you go back here, your derailleur is pretty tight. Oh, actually, I already put it down. That's normal for your derailleur. You're going to unlock your derailleur so that it's nice and easy. You're going to push down here. Just take your chain right off. Now this is going to come right out. Let this go. Here we go. So cranks are off. There you go. Oh, I didn't mention the chain ring tool. So we're going to. All right. Here's the chain ring tool. I got this on Amazon. The link in the description if I can. Um, I don't. It's not an affiliate link, but it's going to be hard to find it if you don't know what it is, right? So this is how we're going to take the chain ring off. This slides down. Over. Slides all the way down, locks into the chain ring just like that. A good trick. 
you're going to get it kind of close to the crank. I want to squeeze this way. Here we go. That gives you a little bit more leverage. All right. Okay. So again, we loosen this up. Good. Cool. All right. Nuts off. Old chain ring off. So this one's going to go on now. I'm going to go right over and it's a direct mount so again it has these teeth and direct mounts right to the crank you can see the teeth I almost forgot you see that there there's that big space right here there's a big space right there gave up holy moly look I can edit and there we go so that's on then we're going to take our same piece it's going to go see how it's threaded threads go down and that washer stays on top. I take our lock ring, put that down, and we're going to lock it back in. So it's going to look, I got to still tighten it, but it's going to look just like that. There we go. And just like before, when I grabbed it to loosen it, I kept it close so I could just squeeze my hand basically like that. We're going to do the same thing to tighten it, but we're going to go on the other side. Um, so once it starts getting hard to turn, I'm going to do the same thing and put it next to the crank so I can just grip it. Yeah, so I'm just turning this right now. Again, holding the crank with the pedal facing down, it is clockwise, just like you're turning a screw. So there's no like trickery with this thing. Some things are reverse threaded, this is not. And this should be, I believe, is that the Newton meters? Doesn't I don't see the Newton meters on here, but tight as fuck. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of tight, so I'm gonna go. I said nice and close. More leverage. Now I can squeeze. There we go. That should do it. All right, so we're back on. Again, the main reason I'm doing this, I had no idea what to do. So now I'm here. I'm guessing there's supposed to be grease here or oil. I don't know which one though, so I'm not going to put it there. So if you know what to do on this part, go ahead and share it in the comments so everybody knows. Um, but I just got the dirt out of there because when this is all the way on, this piece that had all the dirt is just right here. It's not inside. It's not functional. So I'm going to go ahead and push this in. There we go. Okay, so for your other crank, the other crank, when you put this on, it's going to be opposite. Just like when you pedal, your one pedal's down, one's got to be up. You can't put them on like this because you wouldn't be able to pedal. So just pay attention. So that screw that we unscrewed, if you notice, is still in here. You don't want to take that out. It's self-extracting. So when you screw in, it's going to pull itself back in. So let's do that. Here we go. All right. It should be like a... Here it is. Okay, it's clicked in now. Or not clicked, but you can feel it grab. So we're going to go from there. There we go. Okay, it's grabbed. So same thing on this side. You can kind of use this crank for leverage. And this is supposed to be really tight too. And I am now going clockwise. Turning like you're turning a screw. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So they have this kind of rigged. I have my bike rack holding my handlebar because you don't want to do this. I guess you could do this in a hydraulic rack or a bolted down rack, but all the force I'm putting, I don't really want my bike off the ground. I want it nice and stable or as stable as I can get it.
<clears throat> All right, so if you were changing out cranks, I imagine you have to change out the chain ring too. So it would be just like we just did. Um, I put the same cranks back on and just change out the chain ring. And this also, I think, is like 40 Newton meters. It is pretty tight. So I got a torque wrench, and I only got one. I didn't know it till yesterday. It only goes up to 14 Newton meters, which is kind of useless unless I'm just doing stuff on my handlebars. and we'll do the little squeeze method. Move a little bit. I think it's as tight as we gotta get it. And of course, if you're ever unsure, you can always bring it, there you go, that's it. You can always bring it to your bike shop to, for them to do. But I've got two bikes left. I got that one and this one. I actually have the Rocky Mountain in the Hall, which I'll be posting soon. But, yeah, it gets expensive, not to mention if it's peak bike season and you're trying to do this, then sometimes you've got quite a wait, a couple weeks. So, and it doesn't take that long. So let's go back over to this side, see what we got left to do. All right, so same thing. We get our chain, let's get it over the pedal, and I pull the back down. Work it over the chain, backwards so you can freewheel. There we go. Our chain's on. Once our chain is on, we have that lock back here. Don't forget it. So now the derailleur is nice and tight. Ah, oh, it's in the wrong gear. I'm like, why is it grinding? I don't know. Backpedaling always changes the gears. There we go. All right, let's try that little. Okay, I'm going to do a quick check here. So it feels a little stiff. I'm going to just take the chain off a minute and see if it's the chain or the cranks. Is the chain. I probably need some oil. I mean, I'm sure the cranks probably could be a little uh, quicker on that rotation, but there you go. All right, so that is how you change your cranks, how you change your chain ring. Um, there we go. So I hope this helped. Like I said, I wish I had it. I looked up uh, changing XTR cranks and you would see videos of them going, hey, let's change these cranks. And then they would look over there and then when they came back, the cranks would be on the floor. That wasn't helpful for me. So I'll see you in the next one. I hope this helped you out. Uh, like, subscribe. I'm gonna put a few, I'm gonna start doing some of these videos of things that I now know how to do that I didn't know and I couldn't find on YouTube or they would skip steps or Parts would teleport, and I'm like, well, how did that get there? We're going to do all of it. So if you have any requests, put them in the comments. Um, as of now, I don't do brake bleeding. Um, I do padded. I do almost everything, almost everything, except for bleeding brakes. I haven't even tried to do that yet. I haven't had to. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment if you want to see anything specific where you've looked up videos and parts skip and you can't follow along because it gets crazy.